Hey, this is uh, Jack here. Uh, lately, um, you know, people been asking me, hey, Austin, can we listen to your mix or how do you sound live at a wedding? Well, generally, I like to mix right on the spot, just get a feel for the crowd and just mix the crowd. So if you don't have any, like, um, particular, like, um, crowd, so I'll, this is probably a mix I'll put for like a good, like a 10 like minute set. Like, you know, probably. There we go, here's a good song I would generally do. You know, here's his good intro, you know, get the party going. Good song, uh, pumps up the kicks, pump the kicks, drop it, feel the beat, there you go, fade it out. the meshes, two songs mesh into one. So the beat mix is really important when you're DJing. What you want to do is make sure your beats are right. So when you go from one song to another song, it's like you don't feel you don't lose that tempo. People are pounding the dance ground, dance floor, you make sure the beat mix is just on the mark.
quickly. What I'm doing is just looking at my laptop, feel the beats, and then you just drop the songs. So what's important about DJ beat mixing is uh, spinning good music is the fact that your beats have to match when you go when you're going to transition from one song to another. So in doing so, the guests on the dance floor are not losing a heartbeat. They're on the dance floor, they're pounding, they're dancing, and they're just going bam, 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 bam. So that's some um, DJ 101, good mixing. Beats gotta match. I mean, I haven't gone to bad scratching, things like that. But what's important is like, DJ 101 is beat mixing. And we'll go into uh, scratching next week. So this is DJ Jack. If you're ever looking for DJ in lighting, give us a call at 818-720-1709. I'm out.